You drop this. And all ready to be a corporate slave? Well, we don't have a choice, do we? I'm Nora. Miss Nora. All the best. I'm Jay. So I'm up next. Um, do you want to meet to get coffee later? Only if I get to choose where. Deal. Let's pretend that we are stuck in the wooden frames of the mind, of the room that hums rhythms off the wall where. Where the melody scatters with the droplets of my soul's raging storms. Let's rewind to the coffees and cakes and teaspoons of love and tenderness that lifts off all that heart's ache. At conversations and mumbles about love that we both know don't exist just yet. To the rosiness of your cheeks when they flush right away after the winter snow. As also when I kiss them. While I fumble on my tiptoes, to the loose thread of our open conversations left for mending at my blouse's hem, once stuck in a thorn, but now free with a rip waiting to be mended, to be crisped, to be crossed, to be sewn back as it leaves me out of my breath, in a city of marble and stone where love is carved into every speck of its being. I am left to marvel at the way your tender skin presses against them, leaving a trail of its cold breathlessness into drops of you as it begins to gleam. Let's pretend that it is real, that your scent still lingers in my bloodstream, the subtle smell of lavender fields teasing every nerve in me silly. Wait, let me go back to when I first lay my weary eyes on you, you in your silent glory. You in your pale white dress, you in your childlike grace, showing me eternal futures where you and I could be. Like the song that played in my head as I lay my hand on yours, you fill up my senses. My senses could only sense your arm and eyes, your musical laugh and your delicate heart, just like the damp earth reeks of the nurturing rain, like the glistening sand under the warm sun. Like the loose strands waiting playfully to be brushed behind your ear, I am me because me because of you, you and you. You hang up. Let's pretend that there is a home whose walls echo in our breathless laughs, resonating through scary storms and chilly nights, for our love surpasses the elements that threaten to break us. Home is now you, filling me with familiarity and comfort and yearning. Yearning came into my life just as you did, leaving me with a sense of missing out on you. Your downfalls and climbs, your sugar-fueled musings, your smug need to be right, but mostly you. Like missing out on the most vivid sunset. I was compelled by the sun to take you in, my dear. You truly complete me. If you were to imagine the happiest man in the world, you would only have to glance at me, only to see me glancing at you with the wondrous gleam in a child's eyes when he discovers something marvelous. If you were to imagine the most notorious thief to exist. You would only have to look into my gleaming eyes, only to gaze at your reflection. For you have robbed me of my insecurities, my walls, but most obviously, my heart. My unassuming, dormant heart ran away from you at first, for it was unprepared for love so fierce. But love, love as a as a child. 
runs to his frantic mother. My heart could not escape you, for it is yours. Let us now pretend that our time is limited, that our destinies are not meant to align. Like the creepers that started at one root now have to diverge. I would be left to grasp at every hushed whisper, every drifted train of thought, even the painful ones, and piece them together for you can save me, I hope. I hope that the strong and enduring vines of my love meet you halfway. My vine, finally mended, crisped and crossed with yours, sewn back together as it leaves us out of breath. My vine, finally mended, crisped and crossed with yours, sewn back together as it leaves us out of breath. There's love, and then there's you, and then there is my frail body trying to balance the two. I know that this might be our only night, but putting labels on the hearts working was never my kind. 